Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, ACB is uh, 18 degrees. The high part in use uh, of this uh, right triangle uh, is uh, 4 units, whereas uh, this leg uh, AB is being uh, represented by X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. In other words, we are going to find the length uh, of this uh, leg AB. And we are going to solve this problem without using the trigonometry. In other words, the trigonometry is not allowed. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know this uh, angle is uh, 18 degrees. This is our uh, 90 degrees angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be 72 degrees since the sum of all these interior angles must add up to 180 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, angle is 18 degrees and this angle is uh, 72 degrees. So the ratio is uh, 1 to 4. So therefore, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines, as you can see in this uh, next step. And we can see that uh, this uh, right triangle uh, BCD is uh, congruent to this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And since uh, these two triangles are congruent, so therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 18 degrees and this angle has got to be 72 degrees as well and likewise uh, this uh, CD side length uh, is going to be equal to 4 so I'm going to write down 4 over here and furthermore uh, this BD length is equal to X so therefore I'm going to write down X over here and furthermore uh, this whole side AD length is going to be X uh, plus X is going to make uh, 2 times uh, X and in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, angle bisector DE on this side uh, AC. And since uh, DE is an angle bisector, so that means this angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle. So therefore, we are going to divide this uh, 72 degrees uh, into two parts. First angle is going to be 36 degrees. And likewise, this angle is going to be 36 degrees as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADE. And we know in this triangle, this angle is uh, 36 degrees. This angle is 72 degrees. So therefore, uh, this remaining angle has got to be 72 degrees uh, as well. Since the sum of all these uh, three interior angle adds up to 180 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, triangle uh, ADE E is an isosceles triangle since uh, this angle is congruent to this angle. So therefore, uh, this uh, DE side length uh, is going to be equal to AD as you can see in this uh, equation. And we know our AD length uh, is uh, 2x. So therefore, uh, DE length has got to be 2 times x uh, as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other triangle uh, CDE. And now let's focus on this whole angle that is going to be the sum of 18 and 18 that is going to give us uh, 36 uh, degrees. And now we can see that this uh, triangle uh, CDE is our isosceles uh, triangle. Since uh, this angle is 36 degrees and this angle is 36 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, segment uh, CE length uh, is going to be equal to this side uh, DE length as you can see in this uh, equation and we know that this uh, DE length is uh, 2x so therefore uh, this uh, CE length uh, has got to be 2 times x uh, as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole length uh, is uh, 4 and this uh, segment uh, CE length uh, is uh, 2x so therefore, uh, this segment AE length uh, has got to be 4 minus uh, 2x. And now we are going to focus on these uh, two isosceles uh, 
triangles. This first one is our triangle ADE and our other isosceles triangle is going to be this big ACD triangle. Now we can see that these two isosceles triangles ADE and ACD are our similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And since uh, these two triangles are uh, similar, so we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of the side lengths uh, DE and AE is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, CA and DA. And now let's focus on our DE segment length uh, is uh, 2x. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 2x uh, over here. Our uh, segment AE length uh, is uh, 4 minus 2x. So I'm going to replace that one with 4 minus 2x. And our CA length is 4. So I'm going to replace that one with 4 over here. And finally our DA length is going to be 2x. So I'm going to replace that one with 2x over here. So therefore we can write down 2x divided by 4 minus 2 x is going to be equal to 4 divided by 2x and now let's make an observation we can see 2 is in common so I can factor out 2 outside so that is going to be 2 minus uh, x and likewise uh, on the right hand side uh, 4 divided by 2x reduces to 2 divided by x so therefore we can write down 2x divided by 2 times 2 minus x is going to be equal to 2 divided by x. And here we can see 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore we are ended up with the x divided by 2 minus x equals to 2 divided by x. And now I am going to cross multiply. So therefore we can write uh, x square equals to 4 minus uh, 2x and now we are going to move everything on the left hand side. So therefore we are ended up with uh, x square plus uh, 2x minus 4 equal to 0. So therefore we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve for x by using the quadratic formula and here's the quadratic formula that we'll be using and here in our case our a value is 1 b is 2 and c is negative 4 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula so x is going to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 square minus 4 times uh, a is 1, c is negative uh, 4, all over 2 times uh, 1. And now let's simplify, that is going to give us uh, negative uh, 2 plus r minus uh, the square root of uh, 4 plus uh, 16 all over 2. Let's simplify furthermore, that is going to give us uh, negative 2 plus r minus uh, the square root of 20 divided by 2 and now we know that uh, square root of 20 is same as writing uh, 2 times uh, square root of 5 so therefore we can write this one as uh, negative 2 divided by 2 and then plus or minus uh, 2 times square root of 5 divided by 2 as well and here we can see negative 2 divided by 2 reduces to negative 1 and likewise this 2 and 2 cancels out so therefore x is going to be equal to negative 1 plus r minus square root of 5 and now since we got these two signs positive and negative so therefore our first value of x is going to be negative 1 plus square root of 5 and the other value of x uh, is going to be negative 1 uh, minus uh, square root of 5 as well. And now we can see that this uh, x value is not possible since uh, this gives us a negative value. 
So therefore, we are going to reject this value of x and we are going to accept uh, this value of x uh, negative 1 plus square root of 5. So thus our x value turns out to be negative 1 plus square root of 5. And now we are going to rearrange this one. In other words, we can write uh, x equal to, I'm going to write down uh, square root of 5 first and then minus uh, 1 uh, units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, our x value turns out to be square root of 5 minus 1 units. And that's going to be approximately equal to 1.236 uh, units as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.